The upgraded depth check system from Bobcat is an integrated grade indication system that helps operators know when the bucket approaches, reaches, and surpasses the final grade point. Depth check helps make digging and grading more accurate and efficient with or without a laser system. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to use depth check system with a laser. When Bobcat depth check is used with a laser system, a laser receiver on the arm of the excavator allows you to bench off the laser beam. This establishes a consistent benchmark for quick and accurate digging across the job site. Let's talk about two common applications for depth check system operation with a laser. Excavating a 0% grade for footers or foundations and sustaining a sloped grade for gravity-fed water drainage. First, we'll excavate a grade for footers or foundations that have a 0% slope. The first step is to set the target depth. To find target depth with a laser enabled, we must measure the distance from the laser beam to the grade point. In this example, where we are digging footers, we've already established a grade point of 12 inches below ground level. Our laser beam is 60 inches above ground level. This results in a target depth of 72 inches. Now that we've established the target depth and both the laser transmitter and the target slope are set to 0% for a flat grade, we'll conduct our first benchmark and begin excavation. To benchmark with the laser system, the laser receiver on the arm of the excavator must acquire a strike from the laser beam and the arm must be within plus or minus 5 degrees of being straight up and down at 90 degrees. The display will show two icons to indicate when the arm is vertical. This will let you know if the work group needs to be raised or lowered to acquire the laser beam. Once the arm is vertical and the laser receiver acquires the laser beam, the depth check system will automatically perform a benchmark, which is indicated with an audible tone. Now that we've acquired our first benchmark off the laser beam, let's use the depth check system to excavate to grade point. The laser system will not be used again until the first dig cycle is complete and the excavator is ready to be repositioned to continue digging. A good practice with the depth check system is to dig in shallow, lengthy dig cycles as you approach grade point to avoid overdigging. You'll receive audible and visual alerts as the bucket approaches, achieves, or surpasses grade point with slow, progressive beeps as you approach grade, a solid tone and green display upon achieving grade, and rapid tones with red display if you dig below grade. Now that we've acquired and sustained grade through this first digging cycle, the excavator needs to be repositioned, and we have to establish a new benchmark. For optimal accuracy, acquire a new benchmark every time the tracks or blade move. Acquiring a new benchmark with the laser system is quick and easy, requiring only the arm to be vertical and for the receiver to acquire a laser strike. With a new benchmark acquired, continue excavating the trench with the depth check system until the next dig cycle. Then, repeat the benchmarking process every time the machine is repositioned. Another common application for using depth check is sustaining a sloped grade for sewage and septic installations or gravity-fed water drainage. First, to establish a target depth with laser enabled, we need to measure from grade point to the laser beam, which is 80 inches. We'll set our target depth to 80 inches. Next, to sustain a sloped grade with a laser system, both the depth check system's target slope and the laser transmitter's slope must be set to the same slope percentage. For this example, our objective is to dig a 2% sloped grade for septic or water drainage. Both the transmitter and depth check system will slope downward to the machine. It's critical to ensure the direction of the laser transmitter and depth check system match. For the depth check system, a positive slope is defined as sloping downward toward the machine. A negative slope is defined as sloping upward toward the machine. On the display, a positive or negative icon will show you the direction of the slope. A positive slope on the transmitter and a positive slope on depth check may not always result in the same directional slope. Verify if the transmitter or depth check need to be switched to ensure both are sloping in the same direction. With both the target depth and target slope established, we'll conduct the first benchmark by making the arm vertical and acquiring a laser beam strike with the receiver that's located on the arm. With a benchmark established, we can use the depth check system to excavate to the sloped grade point. With the first dig cycle complete, the machine is ready to be repositioned. Whenever you reposition the machine, you'll need to complete a new benchmark before you begin your next dig cycle to maintain final grade accuracy. 
We just covered how to use Bobcat's upgraded depth check system with the laser to excavate a consistent grade, both flat and with a 2% slope. Here are some additional tips for using the depth check system. If a job doesn't require a high degree of accuracy, increasing the grade zone will result in more tolerance to what depth check system considers on grade. For example, a 2-inch grade zone will result in 1 inch above and 1 inch below grade point to be considered on grade. If precision or high accuracy is required, setting the grade zone to lower value or 0.0, .0 inches will result in strict tolerances to what depth check system considers on grade. You can choose between two reference modes, earth reference and machine reference. You can enable these modes within the depth check system settings under preferences. Earth reference provides indication to a final grade that is independent of the slope that the machine is on. For example, if the machine is on a hill with a 5% slope and the slope target is 2%, the final grade would equal 2%. Machine reference provides indication to a final grade that is on the same slope or plane as the machine. For example, if the machine is on a hill with a 5% slope, the final grade would equal 5%. Target slope cannot be set when in machine reference, as the slope of final grade will equal the slope of the ground that the machine is on. In most applications, earth reference will be the preferred mode and result in improved final grade accuracy. If spot checking grade with a self-leveling laser, utilize earth reference, as it's unlikely the machine is on the same slope that the transmitter is set to. There are a couple of different laser receivers that are designed for use with the depth check system that can be purchased at your Bobcat dealership. To install these receivers on your excavator, refer to the Depth Check User Guide. To learn more about digging or grading more accurately with your Bobcat excavator, visit bobcat.com or visit with your local Bobcat dealer.